Well, good morning, YouTube friends. My name is Keith Fink. I live in Fort Atkinson, Wisconsin. My parents named me after this YouTube channel. Yeah. I'm here with Wilson Fink, my youngest son. Um, we have just finished bailing a neighbor's field. He called us recently and asked if we would like to have this hay. So we came and cut it and have now bailed it. Let me tell you, you, unless you're a farmer trying to feed animals in a drought, you cannot understand what a huge blessing this is. So Wilson and I just finished bailing. It's about what, 10 in the morning? Mm -hmm. It has been so dry. We've just had to get out here in early morning, as early as we can, to bale hay um, before it gets, you know, before so I'm dry it just it just disintegrates in the baler. But <clears throat> how many bales did we pick up here, Wilson? It's uh, mostly yeah, grass, a little bit of clover, some alfalfa in there, but you know, it's beautiful yeah, 13, heifer hay. 14 large bales and then these. Okay, 14 bales, and then we bailed, uh, the outside round had some nicer grass in it. <clears throat> and Lydia was asking for some smaller bales to fit in her feeder out back where she's raising smaller calves. So this is good hay for them, and it'll sit in their feeder. Um, being smaller, they'll be able to eat them up before the weather can ruin them. So we made uh, four smaller ones for Lydia. Wilson Fink and I are going home now. We're going to take the baler. going to leave the H in the big wagon. We're going to take the baler, put the forks back on the tractor and grab another wagon. And we'll come back and pick these bales up. Wilson is hoping to continue this video with uh, Hank's camera. Yeah, but I have battery charged. So if everything works out, there'll be more to this video. If not, unfortunately, you probably won't even see this video because there's nothing more to show. But Wilson, uh, what was the game you figured out with these bills? It's almost like log rolling. What? Oh. It's like you step on the bale like this, and then you just kind of, uh, you, you walk like, oh, come on, now I can't do it. Kind of figured it out earlier. Now I'm slipping. Anyhow, put another feller on there with him, fighting against him, and that'd be be quite the feed out in the hay field. You know, if and we didn't have so many other uh, necessary things to do. Yeah, a person could come to a farm and play all day, except the work would never get done. But look at him go. He's going to go right out through the ditch onto the road and he can roll it home. We were coming home the other day after mowing this with the 14-foot uh, wide hay bine taking up the whole road. Our sleepy little road, you never meet any traffic, and we're, we're only at best half a mile from home. Wouldn't you know, we meet three or four cars and then our milk truck comes up the road. <laughs> You know, we meet a semi on the road. big long semi trailer. So uh, we just happened to be in a place on the road where we could swing the hay bine out into the ditch, and we could pass each other. Everything was really nice, but that's the way it works out here in farm country. Okay, we need to get home. We're gonna grab our other equipment, and if everything works out, you'll be seeing this. Thanks for watching. I guess appreciate it. Enjoy your comments. If we didn't have you to talk to, you know, we'd really be lonely hermits because we never go anywhere. <laughs> okay, so I just grabbed the camera.
so. Oh, now, I guess I can show you our tailgate on our truck that we made. All solid wood and Fink Fabrication. That's encased in uh, resin epoxy. So, still gotta put our chains, our cables on it. But otherwise, it's just black wood on the back and then our sides. I'm actually going to be taking this truck to the farm store later today. Maybe I'll film that too. It depends how long this video gets. Looks like Dad's putting on the forks up there. So we can unload the wagon that we got to take back with us. Then load up the bales over there. So I guess I'm going to put the camera down so we can work on this. Well, one of the bale wagons that we needed to go collect the bales we just made still had a few bales on it from several weeks ago. So we unloaded those and the last one we decided just to bring right in here to one of the round feeders in the heifer yard. They're eating a lot of bales since no rain for a long, long time has dried up their pasture. And of course, Wilson is the one out there uh, removing the strings before I dump it in the feeder because when he stands next to me, one can look at me and see right away that I have the seniority. So of course it's the junior employee that has to get out of the air-conditioned cab and work in the heat. But that's what makes a man, hopefully, right? I believe he has just told me that he's got all the strings off and is ready for me to dump it. So let's see what we can do here. There we go. Maybe that was it. Okay, so we got our wagon hooked on. So now we're gonna head back to the field. And our brand new Kubota M9000. Yes, it's brand new. Just came from the factory yesterday. Didn't it, Dad? Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, we, we just put 5,700 hours on it yesterday, so. <laughs> Fake <Anyway>. news. <laughs> anyway, we got our forks on and got what I can put on, so. So we'll start the camera rolling back off when we get there. Alright, so we're at the field and then now he's gonna he's gonna load me up. He can fit eight on this wagon. And we have a total of uh, 14 bales. So he can put six on that wagon, eight on this one. And then on that wagon he should be able to fit our four other smaller bales too.
Alright, so we're all loaded up. He's got the six on his wagon. Now he's gonna grab that other really small one. You know, I'm gonna set you guys up on the hood. And for another time lapse, I know you just watched one, but for another time lapse of the way home. But Hank, no, make it slow enough so that people can see the countryside. Next thing I need to do today, so over the I need to give this thing an oil change. But over the past few days, we have gotten this tractor running from sitting over the winter. It was having problems uh, last year. There's a cobweb. Whoop. Okay, it was having problems last year. So we we were thinking it was fuel, but the fuel lines and everything they were all clean, and we put new fuel in it. It was just fine. So now we put a new distributor on it. We put electronic ignition and we swapped it to 12 volt. So it's 12 volt and electronic ignition now. And it's running pretty good. So now this engine has problems with compression. It plus the spark plugs get really dirty. So it must leak oil. The rings are probably just very bad. So we got 15W50 oil to put in it. So that's really thick. And we got Lucas Heavy Duty Stabilizer. So, I guess we'll make sure this is clean first of all. And get this under there, wherever the, there's the plug. Okay. Oh, and we got a new uh, oil filter. So I'm gonna pull this plug Alright, so I got it all dumped out. And here's the hook, man. Anywho, got that dumped out. It looks pretty bad, but it doesn't, doesn't really. It's all black, obviously. Not sure how many parts it holds, so I'm just gonna have to kind of, yes. Oh no, my tractor's empty. That's not good. So I put um, four quarts of 15W50 in there, and then a quart of Lucas oil. And I'll tell you, that stuff is thick. Like, like, I'm gonna let it run, start to light up into the filter, go into the lines and everything, and then I'm gonna top it off with the so It is running really nicely.
that's 233. No. We're going to be on our way to uh, go to Farm and Fleet in Watertown. But the AC even works in this truck. So we just got loaded up with all of our calf feed and chicken feed and salt, so now we're gonna go home. Oh, we're here to buy a brand new tractor. No, we don't need a brand new <laughs> tractor. I uh, have been searching, or well, not searching, but just casually watching the YouTubes at the night when I come in and plop down in my chair, and I see where uh, Kubota is apparently giving tractors and implements to deserving youtuber homesteaders and uh, you know Kubota probably lost my number or something but they'll find it eventually and I'm sure I'll be given the same offer so uh, you, you, you friends of ours who watch the channel be sure to keep your eye out for a new Kubota tractor on our farm because I am positive. I'm positive Kubota's going to reach out to me and just drop one of them in my lap. They've just misplaced my number temporarily, but they'll find it. Well, I mean, we bought a brand, well, you bought a brand new tractor 20 years ago, so they should give you a reward. Yep. Maybe even better, they'll send you a 10 foot disc line. We, yeah. we need that a lot more than we need a new tractor. Well, we need. Yeah, probably. Well, I guess this video is probably already too long, so I guess I better wrap it up then. Leaving the note of Kubota better get us a new tractor. No. Leaving not that note. Better. They owe us nothing. <laughs> okay, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.